Hey folks, welcome back. So in the last lecture, we learned how to create a feature file. We also learned how to create a scenario and we also learned how to create uh, steps for each of the scenarios and how to basically use our code within the steps. So in this lecture, we're going to be creating a few more, uh, one more scenario. But this time what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to run our scenario uh, multiple times for different sets of data. That is, we're going to try to do a order placement of a pet, but we'll try to do it uh, multiple times. However, we won't uh, replicate the scenarios. Rather, what we're going to do is we're going to create one scenario and then we're going to use multiple sets of data to do this. So let's see how to do that. So in order to save some time, I've already created the feature file. So under the features, I have created a new feature file called as orders.feature. And this is the name of the features that is purchasing pets from the store. And the scenario is basically the user will enter, search for a pet and basically purchase and then verify if the purchase was successful. So this is the scenario that is log into the application as test and test. This is the username and password. And after that, the user will search for a pet and view the details of the pet and add it to the cart. And after that, the user will proceed to checkout and enter all the payment details and click on continue. And finally, after submitting the order, the user will verify if the confirmation is uh, displayed on the screen. Now, there are a couple of changes over here in this feature file from the last feature file. So this is the last feature file. So the first thing is the last feature file you could see this says as scenario. And here it says scenario outline. And also you have this data table that is present here. So what we are doing here is we are basically executing this scenario for different sets of data. So this is the first set. And this is the second set. And these are nothing but these are the variables. So whatever variables we are uh, providing here in the table, whatever columns we, uh, we have over here, the same variable names should be present wherever we want to drive the data. For example, in this step, we want to enter the pet information as a variable. So these two values will be sent into this step when the scenario is executed. That is, uh, the whole scenario will execute once for each row and then the scenario will execute again for the second set of data. So this is the main difference between a scenario which will be executed multiple times and a scenario that's executed just once. That is, the keyword will be different. It's called scenario outline and also you should provide a table and the table should be having this keyword called as examples. So that's the fundamental difference. Now let's go to the Cucumber steps for this particular feature file. So what I'm going to do is I will just open up one of the implementation for this step. And if you observe this, so this is the English whatever we have in the feature file. And now if you notice, all the variables are denoted with this bracket dot star and close bracket meaning any type of information can come through so you can provide uh, different types like strings uh, you know uh, integers and so on but uh, this would be a generic type and also correspondingly we have input variables coming in now it is very important to note that the input variables that are uh, placed over here should be in the same order Okay, whatever order you're sending here in this particular step, it should be in the same order. That's it. And over here, we have, we have our serenity step. That is the method being called. And we are just passing these variables. So now that we have the scenario outline ready, let's go ahead and build this project. So we have two scenarios or two feature files. One is the user registration and the other is placing orders. However, this feature file 
uh, whatever scenario we have here will be executed twice. So let's build this and let's see the test run. So this is nothing but this is the user placing an order. So this is for uh, the first set of data. And the same scenario is executing again, but this time for the second set of data. And this is nothing but the user registration scenario. And as expected, the build pass. Now let's open up the report. So under target, we have site. And underneath that, we have serenity. So I'm going to search for index.html. Open with Chrome. So this is the report. So if I go here, under the requirements overview, I have two scenarios. So each uh, feature file is treated as a uh, requirement. So this is the name of the feature file. And inside the feature, we have the scenario. So this is the previous scenario. That is uh, registering a user. And this is the purchasing of pets. So here you can see the data table is also displayed. If I click on this, this will take me to the individual test runs. So each scenario is executed twice. So this is the example and also this is the corresponding data for the particular example. So this is how we basically do um, data driven testing of the complete scenario uh, in uh, Cucumber. So in general, Cucumber uh, scenario outlines and examples are used for doing uh, data driven testing uh, for complete scenarios. That's it for this lecture. To summarize, we learned how to use scenario outlines in order to perform data driven testing of our scenarios. We also learned about examples which are nothing but data tables which actually provide or inject the data into our scenarios and finally we also learned how to pass the data from the feature files into our uh, cucumber uh, steps by using regex expressions and also by following a certain pattern of the order in which the variables are passed within the method definition.